Welcome to the finale of Doom Eternal's main campaign. We're back on Earth for one last time to kill the Icon of Sin, because yada yada, you know what it does the longer it does it. We're in it to sit it. Oh, look at that big boy. Oh no, look how long he's getting. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's too strong. That's actually really cool. You're going to see the Icon of Sin walking around and destroying things as you go through the level. It would be cooler if he was actually a threat to you, but he's all ambient at this point. But it's still neat. I still think it's a good touch to hammer home how much of a threat he is. Yeah. He's not in this game. The Doom Slayer, on the other hand, oh god. Okay, so three isn't the Doom Marine, he's just the Marine. Ah, I see. You are the Doom Marine. The Doom Slayer is the Doom Guy and the Doom Marine. The Guy Marine, the Doom... The Marine Guy. The Doom Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta break out the chart. So there's no challenges in this level. I mean, there's challenge, but no challenges you have to worry about. Thankfully, I'm glad you don't have to worry about that. And there's also only one collectible, and it's one codex entry, so you're going to be entirely focused on fighting this time. And yeah, this feels like a final level. Much like how Doom 2016 handled <laughs> uh, Yeah, the last level is going to be full of tons of high-level enemies. Absolute fucking slugfest. Man, you went right through his rib cage. Oh yeah. I wonder if the shield gets Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? This looks like you could project something onto it. Like your illegal animes. It'd be nice if there was something on the other side to watch. Like, oh boy, like behind this is a demon, but on here is fucking Hunter Hunter. Ah yes, it'll never end. Doom Hunter, Doom Hunter. Ah, there you go. Oh no, I don't like that. Slayer, whatever. Oh, Doom Slayers. There we go. Oh. See, there's an anime for everything. I'm sure there's an anime with the words Imp, Revenant. Oh, there's absolutely an anime with the word Revenant in it. There's, there's gotta be. Doom guy is very self-conscious about his small breasts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only fucking joke in the show. <laughs> My little Doom guy can't be this cute. <laughs> it stars the little Doom guy toy you get on level one. Reincarnated in another world, my Doom guy. The fuck? Is that just a random lost soul? Those aren't. Oh, okay, never mind. It came oh. from that pain elemental. <laughs> just a random lost soul. It even, it even went in slow motion, like, oh, that's why. Oh, it's a pain elemental. Yeah, because this game does not like to just put Lost Souls places. Like, I don't think I've seen one since, like, the Super Gore Nest. I'd argue that's actually a good thing. Yeah, I mean, they are they were harmless in Doom 2016, so, I mean, unless they changed them up significantly and made them a pain in the ass like they were in the classics. Oh, didn't get the animation that time. Yeah, did you get bumped out of it? I think so. I, I, like, if you're at just the wrong angle, then uh, your crucible animation won't happen. Yeah, it did look like you were close enough to him. Oh, well, it died. That's what matters. Six separate Tyrannus. So one new bit of story, I guess, that came from the DLCs, or an explanation from a dev regarding the DLC uh, that doesn't really talk about the DLC itself. If you look around, some of the levels actually have hidden rabbits that you can find. It has been confirmed that those are hallucinations from the Doomslayer of Daisy. They are not real. Daisy, Daisy. 
So that album cover isn't there either. Oh my god, no. Okay, but the portrait is 100% there. Absolutely. I was taken before she passed. <laughs> that gargoyle. Doom guy wipes a tear off his visor. <laughs> so Doom guy went and commissioned a portrait of his rabbit. Yeah. There's a buddy in the Marines that it was just a really good painter, and everyone made fun of him for it, but Doom Guy was there. Hey, man. Want you to do me a painting? Very supportive. Oh, this fucking one up. I don't know why. It took me forever to find this one up. Like, I had to cut out a good, like, five or six minutes of wandering this tiny little apartment complex trying to find where that one up is. It's really not hard. We're all fucked if you let him in. I mean, it's true. Okay, I've concluded that punching this man does not give me the one up. <laughs> but it feels good. Kinda, yeah. It gives me a one up in my heart. I mean, it was green. It was a fair assumption, I guess. So I guess more things that aren't cracked would have also been green. That you could have punched by now. Yeah, it was it was down there. It was not green though, so it was hard, it was a little blend blend in. Plus, it was in a particularly dark place. So I have excuses. They're not good ones, but they're excuses. With the way with the hook, how it pulls you directly to the enemy, no matter like what angle of trajectory you're already on. I can only assume your legs are just flailing behind you as you go. <laughs> Oh, I hope so. Am I fucking losing my mind, or has there been some weird, like, cuts? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. That may just be in the preview, though, because that's not in the original footage. Huh. Well, that was close. What the fuck? How, how was I not chainsawing those guys? This is like, peak, just shit's happening, and I'm just, like, along for the ride. Yeah, that's, that's this whole level. Shit happens. And, you know, they, there's not a lot of secret hunting to do, except for some one-ups, and there's that there's our one actual counted collectible there that we're going to get. As well as my favorite line from the lady. Can someone kill this idiot, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's about time she lost her cool. Told you she's an AI. And so there's the crack, but that's actually on the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Lemmy is God. <laughs> what? They're not giving a shit anymore. Yeah, was that like an Easter egg where you're only gonna find that one occasionally? <laughs> oh no, these that particular lady in, in that particular spot only says those. Like she says those same three things. Can someone kill this idiot? Brothers and sisters, Lemmy is God. That's that's it. I'm very impatient. I wonder if that was an improv or something. It's referring to Let Me Kill Mister, right? I'd imagine. I think it's a movie reference. I saw a clip of essentially that line. I don't know what movie it was from, though. I mean, he's been dead for 150 years at this point. I don't, I don't know how relevant he'd be in this era. He'd have been dead before production began, too. Lemmy's been dead for five and a half years now. Oh, I thought he died in, like, 2010. I don't know why. He absolutely was not. Yeah, he died at, like, the end of 2015. I remember because he was one of the few notable celebrity deaths before 2016. I know. I think it was, yeah, you're right, it was right beforehand. Yeah, okay, it looks like it's an Airheads reference. There you go, everyone. I've explained a reference for you, enjoy. I have no clue what Airheads is. <laughs> yeah, me either. I Again, I, I saw the clip. I did not care to remember the title of the movie that it was from. 
Fucking, I don't watch movies. What the hell are those? Me oh, either. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Is that a new one? Oh, we may have seen like one or two times before. You gotta love that. You're always, like, every now and again, you just always see a glory kill you've never seen before. I wonder if there's like a rarity algorithm that this game uses. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, oops. There are a few, like, minor dead moments in this level. I guess you, there has to be, like, going from place to place. Minor dead, really mediocre hardcore band. <laughs> I'll say, it's fine to have lulls in the action, to have just, like, a little breather. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just... I love whenever someone is linebackering at you and then disappears. <laughs> you know, this is one of those games where I, d I almost wish there were less breathers. I guess it's just because I'm okay at this game that I don't mind when it's really hard. Well, I say it more as like if it's constant high octane action, you will, like, it'll start to wear you down. Yeah. But one level full of it, I don't mind. Like, if it was the whole game, then absolutely. Whoa. So much armor. Yeah, I like the parts where you have so much armor that you just can't even pick it up. Yeah, but luckily at this point, if, if you are full on armor, then any extra armor you pick up uh, charges your blood punch. But once you're at full blood punch, yeah, you, no more. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Here he comes. Saw him out of the corner of my eye. Wrong weapon. Fuck. Here eh, we close enough. Basically the same thing. The scope does help with this Marauder situation, just not as much as the Ballista does. Dickhead. There we go. That one was a pain. Ah, uh, the true final boss of this uh, of this encounter. Oh, never mind. This is the true final boss. The great mastermind. I may be weak, but I'm super smart. I may be hideous. Only I have the brains to rule Earth. There's, you know, there was more to that line, but it was long, so <laughs> it was just like I may be hideous. <sighs> oh, you definitely are. Eh. Looking around for the no secrets that are around. Well. Feel like I should have swung from that rung, but you know. Look, it was greased up. The icon of sin. Same problem as the arch vial. Too good a posture. Looks too human. It's basically just a big buff dude with a goat head. To be fair, it kind of makes sense. You could have done something more creative with that, I think. I, yeah, but like it kind of makes sense. The original icon of Sin was just a wall, so you could really go anywhere from there. The icon of Sin is just a fish flopping on the ground, dying. <laughs> that would have made this game a lot easier. This is... What we're in is basically going to be a skyscraper of fuck. Every floor that you're going to be on is going to be a harder fight than the last. There we go. One sad thing, the DLC doesn't really give you the Crucible. It may give you it at, at briefly at some point, but... 
You're not going to be able to use it a lot. I hate that my brain is just picturing the Icon of Sin now as just a giant block of ice from Kakaidos. <laughs> Big cube. See, huge block of ice. Oh Jesus, this is not a fun posse. No, this is this is chill. Hmm, I wonder if two tyrants will be threatening. Well, they did, they survived a BFG shot, so there's at least that. Good on them. They might just make it after all. Nope. Still, I don't I don't know if they even hit me. I think all the damage I took was from like the gargoyles and imps surrounding me. You know what? I don't know, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, they're all gone now. Wow. <laughs> one shotgun, one ballista took out the Revenant. I'm kind of sad at how awful the Revenants are in the modern Doom games. Well, there goes all of our firepower. That, oh god, the Barons are so persistent. It's hard to stagger them, and they have a shitload of health. I'm also low on ammo here, so I'm just in a bit of trouble. The chain gun is not my weapon of choice for this situation. I wonder what Cryo sold. Couldn't go through the last level without losing a life. Are we all still connected? Hmm? Hmm. Okay, just make sure. It's fine, things are just happening. My brain can only think so fast. Yeah, this is just, again, this is a tower of one huge fight. It's just a beautiful ballet of gunpowder and flesh. Very poetic. Back to back attacks, thank you, Marauder. He's just guarding that door, what a jerk. I actually managed to hit him. You can kind of do something with the Marauder if you hit him from behind, so that grenade actually managed to stagger him a little bit. It's not quite as reliable though. What? Yeah, I don't know what blew that up. Just say, fuck it, I'm done for today. You know, one thing that's uh, mentioned, I believe, in the icon... Either Samuel said it, or the uh, it's mentioned in the Codex for the Icon of Sin, is that it, it mentions how reality distorts around it. But maybe, the, well, A, maybe that's where that explosion came from, and B, I really wish they did more with that, because every other than the demons being everywhere and the destruction, everything just looks normal. I wish that the Icon of Sin fucked everything up. Maybe had, like, tentacles grow out of the ground behind him, or just create vortexes of chaos. What if he just had a good time? I mean, I think that's what he's doing. Oh, no, he, he looks bored. Just like, this is his day job. He's a kid acting out. He's got too much energy. <laughs> How does the icon of sin unwind? By unwinding everything around him. Damn. See, I was going to say listening to a relaxing record while reading it is a nice recliner. 
There's a pipe in his mouth, too. That'd look cool, actually. <laughs> I didn't see you there. We're almost there. <laughs> it's actually super nice and chill if you get to know him. <laughs> Samuel just starts, like, casually talking about the icon of Sid. You should see him at karaoke night. You literally can't hear him. He's too loud. He's like so loud he reverses and destroys your eardrums. Actually weirdly big into antiquing. <laughs> I don't know why. You should see his collection of ancient vases. It's many Fabergé eggs. Oddly enough, he collects ancient Bibles, too. He claims there's humor in the irony. <laughs> and truly there is. <laughs> what a guy. He just sets the entire codex entry for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> this, like, long-ass ramble from Samuel Hayden. But what a lovely guy the icon of sin is in his off time. It's like, Sam, are you, you alright? No, there was a stronger, longer thing, but come on, man. <laughs> As it was written. Bob, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, to win the game, we must kill him. Finally, we get, after seeing so many gigantic things in this game, we finally get to fight one. It's a pretty basic boss. He's going to summon enemies, of course, just like the old icon of Sin. He's also going to shoot fire and lasers out of his head and try to crush you with his arms. Essentially, his body is separated into sectors. Got like his head, biceps, forearms, chest, stomach. That's most of it. And uh, you gotta destroy each bit of his armor in order to continue. It's a pretty basic fight. The editing in this will be strange. If I'm just kind of going around getting resources, I'm gonna speed it up. And if I'm wailing on the Icon of Sin, then I will make the speed normal. Plus at the beginning here, of course, just to show off what's going on. Is that two Cybermancubi? Jesus. And the enemies he spawns ain't gonna be easy, neither. He's gonna be spawning a lot of big guys. I don't think he'll ever spawn anything like an Archvile. I feel like he could spawn a Tyrant. I'm not sure. I don't think I have that on camera, nor am I 100% sure that it happened. It's fine. The Tyrant isn't that threatening anyway. Nah. Alright, I already got his head, so now he just looks like he's wearing a, a wide-rimmed sweater. Looks quite dashing, actually. Maybe Samuel has, has something on this guy. Once the armor's destroyed, don't bother shooting it anymore. You're only going to want to damage the undestroyed bits. That's a little unintuitive. Once something is destroyed, he can't destroy it no more. Shit. I sure hope this doesn't take me 21 lives to do. To be honest, this fight isn't... I don't... Ow, I got punched. Uh, I don't love it. It's definitely better than the original Icon of Sin fight, which I have learned over time is, like, unanimously hated in the Doom community because it's just so lame. This fight's fine. 
it's hectic and you're always going to be on your toes the entire time because you're focusing on this big ass thing but there's also high tier enemies everywhere you have to deal with as well so it's it's very hectic but also it's weirdly it's like a combination of hectic and slow at the same time if that makes any sense yeah Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this fight, honestly. Well, that's one titty down. He, uh, seems a little, uh, hands off. I feel like this fight would be improved. I don't know how this could be programmed. But I would love, like, an, a Shadow of the Colossus style fight where you have to, like, climb up the icon and destroy him in certain ways that way. I think that would be incredible. Stab his head, crucible. Yeah, I know, and and then it, it feels like something that would so fit the tone of this game, but they just never do that. It's so sad. I think it would be awesome. That'd be another fun use of the hook, using that to get up his body. Oh, yeah. It would probably require the hook to be more of a recurring mechanic specifically to get you to locations rather than grabbing on enemies. The DLC actually does that, and it's as, huh. and it's very fun, actually. So they thought of it at some point, just not during development of the main game. I guess not. And it's not with an enemy. It is just for platforming, but it is cool. And it's a lot easier to control than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, fuck that guy in particular. <laughs> I needed my ammo. I meant the one you blasted with a single rocket. Oh, I see. <laughs> Even during this epic fight, the gulps still stand out. So loud. Like, it's weirdly loud. <laughs> Even as hell literally ravages the earth, the Cacodemon's glorp is still audible <laughs> to all. Echoes through their canyons. The only thing more terrifying is if it is all you hear in dead silence. <laughs> You're hiding behind a car, hiding from the demons, and then out of the silence you just hear <laughs> Oh no. Well, it means he's dead, so you're probably okay. <laughs> Is it just me, or does the Icon of Sin look lower res than everything else? Let me get another look at him. It might just because he's, like, massive, so you can see the stretching. He has textures. He looks very smooth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see what you're talking about. I think you can see, like, the dots on him. Maybe that's intentional. I don't know. Shit. Lost a life as soon as I destroyed his last part. Fear not, there's a second phase. Wow, I'm shocked. It takes forever to get in, so you still gotta defend yourself as he walks away. I'll take that too. Each arena also has a mega sphere or a soul sphere that you can get when you need it. All right, now we're here. Now it's basically, all right, we're gonna move on with this. Uh, it's basically the same thing now, except you're destroying the flesh itself, and the Icon of Sin has a few new attacks, and he's also going to be walking between three sides of this building, so you gotta keep an eye on where he is. Now we fight in Philadelphia! Yeah, I know this fight just kind of keeps going. It does. It's far too long. If there's anything I can say about it, it's it's too freaking long. The mobile turret is good for this. The arbalest is good as well to do some chonky damage. 
and uh, eventually I will realize how good the Unmaker is at getting him down as well. Since that has such dense damage. Ah, the Mancubus has such an underwhelming chainsaw animation. Oh, he does chainsaw his heart hole. Tickle, tickle, tickle. A lot of Mancubus stuff is kind of lame. Oh, I don't know why. Seeing his mouth open is funny. He's got a very wide gaw. Maw, not gaw. <laughs> That's the noise you make when you open your mouth. He has a very wide daw. His mixing skills are excellent. <laughs> hey, what was that for? I do wish that, again, maybe it's legal things because John Romero isn't with it anymore, but I do wish that he still did the, at least some kind of backwards chant when you find him. All he does is roar. Yeah, this kind of just feels like another fight with just some little bits tacked on. Yeah, the Icon of Sin itself, I mean, it, it attacks and you notice it, but at the same time, it just kind of feels like another thing that's happening. He feels like an environmental hazard more than an actual fight. That's a good description, I think. Because he's not attacking you directly. He's not actually particularly a threat. He's just there to make the stage more dangerous. Yeah, you're right. He's just kind of putting fire where he puts fire. I would also mind it less if he just wasn't so meaty. He's very, yeah. I feel like he could have maybe three quarters of the health that he actually has, and the fight would be like equally as fun. Or at least a bit more fun. More tolerable. Yeah, and equally as challenging, I'd say. Yeah. Because, like, at this point, you've got it down, and your sustainability is at its peak, and it's just a war of attrition at this point. Yeah. I did. I believe I did lose at this boss. Actually, no. I fell through the ground at this boss <laughs> at one point. I almost had him killed. I, I forget if it, this was on the PS4 or PC version, but I fell through the ground very close to the end of the boss. I, I either fell through or I got stuck. God, I can't believe I forgot that. That was a pain in the ass. That's fucking tragic. <laughs> I just ran over that dude. Honk honk. Your basic dash does damage as well. It's it's not as significant, but I'm pretty sure you do more damage if you have your chain gun shield out. Man, what are you gonna do? You lost another life and have 20 left. And think about it, like I've lost a fair number of lives in this game in total. There are a lot of extra lives that you can get through this game with. I feel like I should beat the game on extra life mode. I feel like I can definitely do that. Ultra Nightmare, I don't know, but extra life mode I can make, I can manage. Thanks, boss tip. I never would have guessed. Thanks, this late in the fight. You're taking too long. Another downside is that with this phase of the Icon of Sin, it is a bit harder to tell which parts of the body you still have to destroy. 
because they do kind of fall apart a bit over time, and then once you fully destroy them, they become gore and chunks and shit. And it's not like you can't tell at all, but it is a bit more difficult than with the last phase. Uh oh, I'm on the edge of glory now. 19. Give me all the ammo. I think it's about here I realized that I should probably be using the Unmaker as well. I think, anyway. At some point, I do. Oh, here's a good place to stand. <laughs> that was weird. He looked like he grabbed his crotch. <laughs> Don't chainsaw me there. Man, you keep fucking up his titties. It's fucked up. Oh, his titties are gonzo now. Now it's all about the abs. Oh, I did it. He's very thin. I thought I used the... Uh, maybe I missed it. I could have swore I used the Unmaker at some point. But yeah, down goes the Icon of Sin. Just working your way up there. Give it a little bit. John has fallen. Oh, that was almost a disaster. Just to Doomslayer kills the Icon of Sin, saves the world, gets crushed by his chin. That was almost a disaster, you say, looking around at this ruined city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a disaster now. I did it. I saved everyone. I saved the future. <laughs> Just this backdrop. Well, all's well that ends well. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong ever again. I must say, Slayer, I've completely turned around on you. Just fucking giving the Doom Slayer a handy J now. For your fight is eternal. Hey! Hey! For your fight is doomly. It's doom eternal. Voila! That was the main campaign of Doom Eternal. For you are doomed to fight eternally. Look at all these people who died in the invasion. <laughs> all <laughs> these people who died in the making of Doom Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. It did start with a eulogy, but I, it was only one person, so I don't know if that's true. So yeah, look at all these lovely people at Id and Bethesda. They did good work. They'll be protected because Todd Howard is there. And Todd Howard is a lich who exists so long as a single copy of Skyrim exists. <laughs> well, now I have a goal. <laughs> Don't kill Todd Howard, that's fucked up! I will swallow my copy of Skyrim on Switch and get the process started. That's just gonna lead to you being in the hospital getting your stomach pumped. All right, so that was the main campaign. This video's not quite done yet, but I mean, the credits are for thoughts. I think that Doom 2016 may be the better game, but I think I've decided that I like Doom Eternal more because of all the little refinements that the game does, all the cool new mechanics that make the game like more difficult, more challenging, more uh, like z like high octane and fun. This, I like, if I'm going to be like, I want to play some modern Doom, I'm going to play this game over Doom 2016, I think. Yeah, 2016 feels like a, a more complete, refined package. Yeah, uh, basically, which is better, more depends on what you're looking for. Do you want fucking high-octane, non-stop action that uh, is incredibly mechanically intricate? Then go for this. T intricate is right, yeah. I do recommend that you play Doom 2016 first, because this this game very much feels like it. It's such a good sequel, though. 
like in in terms of gameplay, it is it's not a rehash. It builds upon what the last game did, which is what any good sequel should do. So I highly recommend that you play both games in order. Just so that you can get the idea first with Doom 2016 and then see all of the see how much further it can go with Doom Eternal. Yeah, I, I appreciate that Eternal isn't just 2016 again. I I still don't like a lot of the writing. Uh, it feels hackneyed a lot of the time. It's a bit of wang. It's, yeah. it's very much trying to be an epic fantasy-ish story, but it's it almost feels rote. It's weird, too, because it's the exact same thing that they made fun of in 2016. <laughs> Somebody did make a good point, and it's not necessarily that Doom Guy didn't care in 2016. It's that he saw what was happening, and act, like he cares a lot about Earth. He saw what was happening with the UAC and thought, "Okay, you're not the good guys, so I'm not going to help you." But still, yeah, it is a lot more wank than I think they were going for. <laughs> <laughs> rude I agree the difference is what you're looking for and also I will say 2016 is much more approachable absolutely yeah, feels like it it's much more approachable because it, it's it's an e it's easier overall and there is less to grasp overall too it's a more simple game to play and I will say that my patience for the story, especially after playing the DLC, where it really goes off the rails and it just becomes less, like, less a fun kind of stupid and more just stupid. <laughs> I've, I've, I've lost my patience for it. I don't know if I can defend it anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we have beaten the game. Now you can go back, get any secrets you missed. You can replay the levels. You can activate cheats, which is what we are going to do. Let's go ahead while we're in... While we're in the Fortress of Doom, we've already done everything we can here. Let's put on a good old At Doom's Gate and listen to one last this ARC broadcast. This is the Resistance Network in what will hopefully be our final broadcast. To all the people of Earth, to anyone listening, the Demonic Horde has been defeated. The yeah, that's real convenient. The beast identified by ARC scientists as the Icon of Sin was destroyed earlier today by the Slayer himself. And with it, Glad all it took was killing a giant goat man. With the threat decreased, and shooting him in his titties. Now more than ever, <laughs> that we come together. There is hope. The human race will persevere. Many of the survivors believe the Slayer to be a godlike figure in what was a battle between good and oh evil. Oh my god, just please abortions. fucking. I mean, it's realistic. That's what would happen if the, if there was someone like the Doom Slayer who saved the world. I'm just saying, talking about giving the Doom guy a handy J, Jesus. <laughs> Everything's okay, kind of. There's still some, as as you'll see in the DLC, there's still some demons about, but the invasion itself has ended. Now, one last thing. But just to show it off, you can now go back to any level. As you can see, I've done everything. Done all the challenges. Got all the uh, unlockables. But now let's let's look at the cheats. Just for fun. I, I can't show each of them off individually. But let's turn them all on. And just see what they're all like at the same time. At the Super Gore Nest, I guess. Yeah, that's a good place to show it off, yeah. Yeah, actually, I this is this was recorded today. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doom Guy, he's here finally. Please remain calm. Alright, so you move faster, you always have Berserk on. If you didn't have Berserk on, then <laughs> God confetti it. flies everywhere. If you didn't have Berserk on, then every shot you did would stagger enemies immediately. I'm not turning off, I'm not undoing the commentary for this quote. You've already heard it. I actually, this was just recorded today. I originally recorded this at the last level, but because you can't fight the Icon of Sin with Berserk, Berserk actually wasn't activated, so I had to do something else instead. Was this recorded at QuakeCon? I think it was. I I believe I read that somewhere, yeah. God, just... It's 
speaking of character action games, Doom is finally that. If you found the game too hard, as I said, you can turn on cheats and still keep all of your progression. The only thing you can't do is Slayer Gates with cheats on. Oh no. Oh yeah, and if you'll notice, enemies aren't dropping anything. That's because the one of the cheats that are on is Famine, which makes it so that enemies don't drop anything, or at least drop less stuff. That actually makes everything harder, because you're, you're gonna get less health and ammo and such. Oh no, what will you do? I know, I've taken two <laughs> armor worth of damage. I know, I love that one. I've never seen that before. There aren't many chances to do it. No. There's like two berserks in the whole game. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> that felt kind of buggy. A bit. There was an imp earlier that you stomped and he didn't go anywhere. Yeah, still, still a bit rough around the edges, this game. I, don't, I didn't even see that guy. I, I still say it's definitely worth looking at and giving, like, checking it out if you want something more from Doom, if you found, like, Doom 2016 a bit lacking. Absolutely. But I, I definitely agree with the sentiment. Doom 2016 is more refined overall. I still stand by that it's one of the best games ever made, I think. Just because of that extra refinement. I don't know if I would say the same thing about Doom Eternal, because it is rougher. I, I do have more to complain about. Let's fuck this pinky up because of all the fucking trouble it gave us. <laughs> but, but Doom Eternal is just a blast. It is so much fun all the way through. I cannot recommend both games more. And I mean, I, I feel like we'll talk more about the series of LPs as a whole once we finish the DLC, which again should start next week. But I can't recommend the Doom series as a whole enough. Like, it's all just fantastic. And these two modern Doom games are... They are absolutely worth your time if you enjoy first-person shooters, because they are so different from anything else on the market. I'm amazed there have not been more, like, copies or games that were inspired by Doom. So first off, there has been the boomer shooter Boom. Eh. But, uh, like, these ones particularly are a tough act to beat because of how much goes into them. Yeah, I'm specifically talking about Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Like, I, yeah. there have been plenty of retro shooters as in the last like decade or so. That said, if the Doom franchise as a whole is fantastic, then why won't you play Doom 3, you fucking coward? Because I don't have anything to say about Doom 3. I stand by that it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> play it. Play it. I might stream it someday, but I feel like we've had plenty of Doom in, in the last year. Uh, but we're not done with it. <laughs> We still have the DLC, the DLC and the multiplayer. I think we're going to do the multiplayer after the DLC, just to cap it off. The DLC is split into two parts that were released uh, separately. The first one was released late last year, The Ancient Gods Part 1. The last one was released just a few weeks ago as of recording, The Ancient Gods Part 2. I think I'm going to title them like The Ancient Gods Part 1-1, one -one, because The Ancient Gods Part 1 Part 1 would just be awkward. So yeah, look forward to that next week. It's a lot harder. Even with changes that were made, it's still uh, quite the challenge, even compared to the campaign. Uh, I might die. In real life. But that's not related to anything. Have you been vaccinated yet? Nope. Better get on it. <laughs> I know. It's on my bucket list. Take a vaccine. 